and action. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It is going great, Chris. Uh, there are some Halloween festivities happening, but not in the way that you would be thinking this year um, all over this country, but people are doing their best with what's been going on. Right, exactly. And, you know, it's getting colder as we talk. You got some snow. I got some cold weather over here in Washington State. And that's all she wrote. So, uh, well, we have some YouTube, so we got some news. Let's go to work, and here we go. Chris and Tommy. Hey, this is Tommy Dreamer, and you're watching Top Level Media. Hi, I'm Rhino, and this is Top Level Media. So, welcome back, everyone. So, Tommy. Since we have some news, what do you have for us this week? Okay, YouTube has made some updates to their mobile app where instead of clicking the little uh, square or rotate your screen, now you can uh, use a gesture of swiping up and it will rotate it for you or rotate it back. And uh, that will all happen in, when you're uh, playing in the playback screen so that way you don't accidentally uh, get out of the app altogether. That's one of the changes that they've made. They've also changed uh, their chapters feature, which they've been uh, working on for a while now, to where you can scroll up and use it kind of like a DVD selection to where you can go, say you want to do like a specific part of a video if you're watching how to, and you watch the whole thing, but they want to go back and you know focus on one part that you didn't understand, then you can just scroll up and then click on that part and it'll take you right to that part of the video. So that's another thing. They also have changed, they're gonna be changing where the auto thing, if you just wanna keep videos rolling, uh, the auto feature, that will change to a new location, as well as they'll be adding the closed captions, they'll be adding that there. So these are just some of the new features that they'll add to the mobile app, both on Android and Apple devices, as well as you'll be able to uh, see how much time is already uh, gone on the video and how much time you have left. YouTube is always up in their game on technology, what they should do for their app, what they shouldn't do for their app. Adding some of these features really is great just because it helps the average person that's watching on the YouTube app, like with all this stuff that they um, should be adding, such as closed captioning, um, such as uh, other things as well, um, when you swipe up, that's great that you are able to see some terrific stuff. I like that as well. have been improving their videos that are able to be viewed um, in VR, so they're also recommending that now to more because they've been improving that uh, software. So now when you watch a video, it is much, you get that full experience of watching it in VR. Right, VR really helps too, like I mean, when you have some of this VR tech as well, there are some mighty expensive, you know, VR stuff out there, headsets that you can get, and as far as goggles, to make it real like that you're in VR all the way. I think this is uh, good, especially if you're on the go, um, and if you're doing a, a DUI, uh, because you know you don't want to have your big laptop near you, especially if you're in your workshop. You just want to have a small screen, whether it's your tablet or your phone. And then with the chapters feature, you can just go right to the right to the section you want to. Uh, where previously you had to do that yourself as a creator, you had to put a timestamp in there, and that would allow people to cut right to that point. But now it's done right in the video, so you don't have to scroll down to the description. You just stay right in the video. And I think that's very helpful and it keeps people more engaged. Uh, you guys could check out Tommy's story down in the section down below. Read more about what YouTube is doing with their tech and what's happening um, as far as the community goes. Moving on to, there is a fan out there that's a Marvel fan of Chadwick Boseman and Stan Lee. 
and he has this comic to where it's a huge thing just because it has Black Panther on it. It's a Black Panther comic and so since he has Stan Lee's um, signature on there and Chadwick Boseman, he put it up for an auction as far as $8,000. That was the starting bid timing. Now the ending bid was 25k. So overall this is a huge thing and just because it's a very expensive comic book. Now those of you that uh, don't know that Chadwick Boseman passed away just a few months ago and everybody was very very sad about his death and also not just sad they were in shock. I think that is incredible that guy was able to get Stan Lee's autograph a long time ago on this comic and then get the guy who played uh, Black Panther not too long ago either. Um, that, I think that's amazing. He was able to get one and then get the other and, uh, and it, to make uh, another Marvel fan out there very happy. I say that that is one major expensive comic book just because that you have Stan Lee on there, you have Chadwick Boseman on there, and I have to, I, to be honest with you, Tommy, that comic book is out of my price range, so you wouldn't see me buying something expensive as that. What you could do is check out the story down in the section down below, and um, check out me and Tommy's story. Give us your thoughts on your favorite Chad with Bozeman's uh, movie, uh, Black Panther. Um, he's done a lot of great um, movies out there. And give us your thoughts about the technology out there. Right, Tommy? Yep. So um, what can people do? They can like this video, share this video. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, ring that bell. You'll be notified when we post more videos in the future. And thanks for watching. And uh, this has been a top level media. Stay safe out there. All right, bye for now. Bye.